Hey guys, Dr. Axe here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you what I eat in a day. I pulled all of these things out of my own refrigerator and pantry. And I can tell you, I've been testing things even on my own body for years to see what I thrive and do the best with. And I have found there are certain meals and certain foods that I just feel great with doing it. Some of the things I'm gonna share with you might even surprise you in this video on what I typically eat on an average day. So for starters, I wanna start off with breakfast and share with you, I do a superfood smoothie every morning, in fact, or let me say this, six out of seven days. So this past weekend, uh, Chelsea and I, a lot of times on Saturdays or Sundays, we'll mix it up. So I made omelets uh, this past Sunday. So we did a bunch of eggs. I did, we sauteed some mushrooms, some veggies, put a little goat cheese in the middle, and we had omelets, okay? So that happens on the weekends, and sometimes maybe some healthy pancakes, but on average, Every morning, I make a superfood smoothie. I wanna share with you the exact products that I use. Number one, I use an almond or coconut milk. A lot of times I'll use this, uh, this Thai, it's USDA organic, this Thai kitchen organic unsweetened coconut milk from the can. Just shake it up and, and I'll do about, typically about a third of the can in there, uh, about a third of the can, and so I'll use it three, it'll last me three times of this Thai coconut milk. If I don't use this coconut milk, I love this brand. This is Elmhurst Milked Almonds Unsweetened. There's two ingredients in here, water and almonds, and that is it. So this is an amazing healthy almond milk. I'll put one cup of almond milk in my superfood smoothie, and I do this so I'm getting my healthy fats first thing in the morning, either by coconut or with the almond milk. So again, I add the nut, nut or coconut milk, the next thing I'll add in is uh, a lot of times blueberries. So I do almost always berries. It's either raspberries or blueberries, uh, sometimes blackberries or cherries, but these are certified organic blueberries. Blueberries are really high in resveratrol and flavonoids and anthocyanins. Those are three types of antioxidants that really help slow aging, okay? They're great antioxidants. The fiber in here is good for your colon and, and body. But again, I always try and get healthy fats and antioxidants and fiber first thing in the morning. And then I'll add in some more antioxidants. Again, this is really a superfood smoothie. I'll then add in some goji berry powder, okay? I love the taste of goji berries. And so again, I'll add just a couple scoops or one scoop in there, about a tablespoon of goji berry. You could also do acai berry or other berries, but I do that to get my antioxidants. This is, uh, again, organic goji berry powder I just bought online. Um, sometimes then I'll throw a handful of spinach in there. That's another option. You want to get some more greens, so I'll throw some spinach or greens in there. And the last couple ingredients I'll add in, actually three more ingredients, I'll add in some multi-collagen protein. I am a big believer in collagen. You know collagen makes up one-third of all the protein in your body. In fact, collagen makes up your skin, hair, nails, bones, discs, ligaments, tendons, gut lining, you know, your joints, your arterial walls, all these areas, your, your bones. Your bones actually have more collagen than calcium. So I do one scoop of a multi-collagen protein, and I also do one scoop of a bone broth protein. Now I like the chocolate and vanilla flavor, it adds a great flavor to the smoothie, but bone broth not only has collagen, but it has glucosamine, chondroitin, hyaluronic acid. These are really unique ingredients that are great for your joints, your gut, and other areas of the body. So again, I do one scoop of each of these, and then I always try to add in more herbs and spices. Herbs and spices, are something we should all be getting more of. And um, I love pumpkin pie spice. This is a brand called Frontier, okay, Frontier. And it's a mixture of cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and nutmeg. We know cinnamon is great for blood sugar. Ginger is great for inflammation. Cloves is actually the highest spice in antioxidants. So again, this is great. I just add in a few dashes in there in a smoothie. And that's what I do every morning for breakfast. Here's the thing, you change your breakfast you change one third of your entire diet. So think about that. Even if you don't follow everything I teach you here, even if you just did my superfood smoothie recipe, you are radically changing your health and your life forever by following this ingredients. Listen, in this one smoothie, you're getting healthy fats like MCT oil from, from coconut. You're getting herbs and spices, which are high in antioxidants. You're getting blueberries, which are amazing fiber. You're getting goji berries, one of the most vitamin C rich superfoods on the planet. You're getting collagen. You're getting all of this stuff in one single smoothie. So if you can start your day off that way, it's a great way to go. That's what I typically eat for breakfast. Again, sometimes Chelsea and on the weekends, I'll do some omelets. Sometimes we'll do some healthy pancakes or waffles or something, but that's typically breakfast. Now for lunch, what I tend to do is I will do an organic meat with veggies 
with something like a sprouted grain rice. I just pulled this out of my refrigerator. This is a, a rice. You can kind of see here, just rice I put I have in this uh, container that I made in the crock pot, okay? So I'll just cook rice overnight. When I buy rice, I buy sprouted grain rice. Sprouted grain rice is easier to digest, and I just cook it overnight. So it's almost kind of a mush, but that way it's really, it, it, and actually in ancient China, they called it kanji. Kanji was known as when somebody was ill and they were trying to get well, it was known as the easiest thing to digest. Or sometimes it would just be broth, like chicken broth and rice. And that's what people would eat all day just to nurse themselves back to health. So again, I'll do either a piece of wild caught salmon or a grass fed burger or maybe some organic uh, chicken. And then I'll have one serving about a, maybe a half a cup or, or so or three fourths a cup of rice. And then I will steam a bunch of vegetables, okay? I love, I do, the vegetables I do most often are asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, and green beans. There's lots of others. Sometimes I do broccoli rabe, sometimes I'll do carrots, you know, but those are the ones I do most often and I'll steam them. And then I will tend to dip them in hummus. Okay, so I got this hope hummus, and I love this hummus. It's really simple ingredients. It's uh, chickpeas, it's tahini, it's extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice, herbs and spices. That's it. It's a really healthy hummus brand. So that's what I do most of the time for lunch is again, I'll do my meat, I'll do a little bit of sprouted grain cooked rice, I'll do veggies, I'll do hummus, and that's almost every day. You can ask my wife, I'm a creature of nature. I do a lot of similar stuff. And listen, sometimes it might be a chicken vegetable soup. You know, actually, one of the things, I actually have a miso soup I made with maitake mushrooms and chicken thighs and, and bok choy in the fridge, okay? So I, I mix it up sometimes too. If you want to know basically what I do though, it's meat, it's grain, it's, it's veggie. And that's what I do most of the time for lunch. Now, at dinner, here's the difference between dinner and lunch. At dinner, I try not to consume any carbohydrates. Because before you go to bed, when you consume your carbohyd or car carbohydrates, you're telling your brain, we're about to go work, okay? You're like carving up for a marathon. Your body's like, all right, I'm carving up right before bed. Let's go get active. And then you wake up in the morning and you just feel kind of lousy. I've noticed this for myself. If I don't eat carbs before bed, I'll wake up in the morning and I'll feel great. And if I have a small amount of carbs, I'm fine. But if I go overboard on carbs, I just feel, I just feel lethargic and I don't feel wake up refreshed. So at dinner, I do organic meat. Maybe it's salmon. Maybe it's a grass-fed burger. Maybe it's a turkey burger. Maybe it's you know, chicken salad. I don't know. I do something like that. And then I will steam or do salt or I'll do baked veggies. So I'll take cauliflower, broccoli, and, and uh, maybe asparagus. I'll cover it in either ghee or coconut oil, sprinkle on some sea salt, bake it in the oven for 45 minutes and do like baked vegetables with the oil. And that's good because at night, rather than doing carbs, I do more fat. I do more fat and more protein in the evening. And I feel really good that way with meat. And I'll do like a double or triple serving of veggies, like a really big serving of veggies. And that's really, it. it's meat, it's a bunch of my veggies. I might do like, there's a siete like cashew cheese, which is healthy and fat. Maybe I'll do some guacamole. Maybe I'll do tahini, which is kind of like, uh, like it's a, it's a seed, it's a sesame, it's ground sesame seeds. So I'll do that for dinner with loads of veggies. And then sometimes if I want just something a little sweet, this is what I love. This is a brand called Hugh Kitchen Dark Chocolate. This has two ingredients total chocolate and coconut sugar, and one serving is about um, eight grams of sugar, okay? So I'm not eating, a it's a little bit, but if you wanna satisfy your sweet tooth, this is a great brand of, uh, of chocolate, this Hue Kitchen. And that's what I do, I'll do dark chocolate for dessert. And this is typically what I eat on a daily basis. Now when I travel, I kind of almost do the same thing. I'll find a Whole Foods or a healthy restaurant in my area, I'll bring my packet of bone broth protein in my multi-collagen stick pack. I bring a shaker bottle. I'll just mix this up with some water and I'll bring my goji berry powder. And this is what I eat every time I travel is these two packs along with goji berry powder that I pack for myself in a shaker bottle. And that's what I have. So I, I really follow this type of diet even when I'm traveling. And listen, it's okay to hey, get off course sometimes, but I would say if you can every morning, Try and do this superfood smoothie for breakfast. Remember, healthy fats, antioxidants, and collagen. Healthy fats, collagen, and antioxidants. You can get that for, for breakfast, for lunch again, you know, some veggies, some wild meat, and some, some, some grains. Uh, and you don't have to do grains if you're paleo. You could replace this with some uh, extra veggies. Oh, by the way, one other thing I try and get once a day in my diet, probiotics. 
This is farmhouse culture. This is their garlic dill pickle. This is their sauerkraut. I try and do a serving of sauerkraut, especially in the spring and summer, um, really frequently try and get my probiotics here. And if not, I'll take a probiotic supplement too. But again, that's another great thing to do in your daily diet. So there it is. That's what I eat on a daily basis. I feel great. I feel fit. I feel healthy. I have a really clear thinking because of it. And listen, everybody does well a little bit on a different diet, okay? So I wanna say that I believe in personalized diets. Some people might do well on keto with more fat. Some people who are doing loads and loads of exercise, maybe they need a little bit more carbohydrates than this uh, with what they're burning. But I think for most people, big thing, know this, eat real food. All these things you'll see here, there's not a single ingredient or thing I have here that's not real food. So I want to encourage you, just eat real food, number one. If you follow a similar diet than I do, I almost guarantee you are going to feel and look your best. I hope you've enjoyed this video on what I personally eat.